Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 365 Day Badge Challenge. We are here with our family, and Zane is actually getting up. In the middle of the night, he did roll a wish to have a baby, so we will um, look into doing that. Well, I think she's actually pregnant, isn't she? Hold up. Is she? Mm, no, she's not. Wait, isn't she? I thought she was. Okay, I'm confused. Anyways, I'm going to slow this down. Um, the kids are awake, so, like, time isn't moving very quickly at all. Um, I think... Oh, yeah, they just had Henry. Um, so we're going to have him come in down here. Does Henry need anything? He actually does. He needs a diaper change. He needs a bottle and some social. So we're actually going to have Zane come on down here. He is going to change Henry... Um, and then we are going to go ahead and we'll snuggle him and we'll play with him. And then we will give him a bottle. Um, let's see. Oh, right. This game, we don't have to go to the fridge for the bottles. So we'll, we'll feed him a bottle and then we'll snuggle him again. And then he should be good. Now she's getting up too. No, stop, please. Just stop. Leave her alone. It's not your baby. You have other kids to worry about. Why don't you come in here and unclog this and then you can use it and then you can take a bath maybe and then maybe mop up the puddle. We don't have a maid yet, but I think we should start looking into one because we are getting quite a few sims in this household now and I just think it's getting to that point. The, both him and Zenobia just rolled to have a girl, by the way. Um, I don't really want to lock that in because I don't want them to have a girl, but at the same time I'm like, mm, maybe I should because they keep having girls. So I will lock it in. Now he has the wish to have a girl and a boy. Please don't have twins. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Please don't have twins. That would be horrible. All right, Georgia is here. She actually needed a bath and uh, something to eat. So, um, yeah, let's let's bring her downstairs. We'll feed her first, and then we can take care from there. So let's put Georgia in the high chair, please. Please put Georgia in the high chair. No. Put Georgia in the high chair. Thank you. All right. And Zenobia is still asleep, so she's all good in the hood. Um, she's very tired, so I'm going to leave her be at the moment. Zane is going down to take care of Henry, so that's really good. And then we have the kiddos, whom he really, he really is the hottie. Yes, good job, Hannah. Proud of you, girl. You're getting your um, little opportunities or challenges done for handiness, which is good because she's she's got that up to five. She just did this skill challenge where um, she's repaired ten objects that were plumbing, and so now um, that she's so good at repairs that the the toilet will never break again. So that's really good. Okay, so let's get her in the high chair and then we'll give her some food because she is going to need some nummy nums. So let's give her some. Give her some baby food. Not really too worried about it. Um, I'm going to let him go ahead and eat some of the French toast that's in the fridge. And also, we should have put away this cake. I didn't even realize we didn't, but we should have put it away. He did need a shower and such, so we'll probably have to do that. She does, or she did need a little bit of hygiene, but I guess she's good now. Which is good. Alright, let's get you up here. You're going to go ahead and put Georgia back in the crib. It's Elijah's birthday today. Oh, Elijah. He's going to become a little boy. He's going to be a little kid. Oh, he's going to be starting school. <laughs> Alright, let's get Zane over here to put Henry back in the swing when he is done. He's taking care of him in the hallway. It's so cute. All right, good. Now, Georgia does need to go to bed. So, yeah, I'm thinking he's probably going to be busy, so I'll leave him be. All right, once he gets him back in the swing, we will turn it back on. And then when Hannah is done, she's not pregnant, though. Oh, she needs to deliver clownfish. Man, we have so many people that need to do things. Woo. A little bit overwhelming. A little bit overwhelming. Okay, can these guys play with this, by the way? Like, that would be so cool if they could. I don't know if they can. This is... If you're noticing any differences, it's from the little, like, playthrough that you might not have seen. It was, like, a longer episode because it was a stream episode. We did have a lot of fun. We edited the house a ton. And, you know, we got all that done, so... 
we're feeling good about it now. Okay, let's go ahead and eat some French toast. And you know what, Zenobia? Don't even worry. Oh, she's already on her way. Okay. I'm going to have him go upstairs. And what does um, Fiona need? Okay, she needs to go to potty. And I think Fiona is potty trained, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she is. Okay, so let's have him go ahead and just, like, let her out. Let Fiona out. It is a Sunday, so, like, nobody has to work or anything today. And she did get her, ba her first baby bump. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't even say that. She did get her first baby bump, so she is officially, you know, expecting. And she knows that she's expecting a baby. Which, that's going to be their sixth baby. How crazy is that? That is insane to me to think about. So, once Zane is done eating, I think we will go ahead and have him take care of Elijah real quick and get him all settled in. Because um, Hannah's eating, and then I do want her to go deliver the clownfish. So, I think I will have her go ahead and do that when she's done eating. Okay, and then once he lets her out, let's let him use this and take a shower. I'm going to pause real quick because we got a lot of kiddos moving and I want to make sure we're getting them done, like getting their, their needs taken care of properly. So let's go ahead and have you, oh, she can't even use that. Why? Okay, use this bathroom then because your aunt and uncle are done using it and it's clean and all good in the hood. And then go ahead and you also can grab some French toast and then Carly, um, why don't you clean this, use it, take a shower, and also get some French toast if there's some. And then we'll get Elijah taken care of in just a second. Just these two guys are like the only two that are like properly needy at the moment. Use the potty chair. Oh, right. She can't use that one. I don't know why. They used to use it all the time. Maybe if I move it forward, they can use it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm also going to send Zenobes over to do this opportunity because we do need to get her going on a viant. Also, our toilet is overflowing. So I think I'm going to either have Hannah or Zane take care of it when they're done with their day. Um, let's get you over here. What does Elijah need? He needs to go potty real bad, but I don't think we're going to get him there in time. So you know what we're going to do? We're just going to spend some time, you know, snuggling him and such. He still needs to learn to talk. Oh, snippity snap. We might have to have... Um, Zane, go ahead and teach him that today. Let's go ahead and just do those things. And then we could probably just change his diaper. He'll probably be poopy by then. And then we could feed him in the high chair and everything will be good then. So that'll be good. We're getting her in the crib because she really needed it. And then let's use and take a bath. What are you doing? You're supposed to be using this shower. Go. What are you doing, Braylee? That's your dad. That is so not appropriate. Don't do that again. All right. Um, Alfonso, let's get you back in the shower, dude. You did not finish. Shower. And she's already off on her way. Henry is good. He is all happy down here. He's sleeping, having a good day. And we need to get over there to feed Elijah. Man, he took care of him fast. Okay. Let's, are you giving him, okay, he's giving him baby food. Good. I think we will let him teach him, but for right now, at this little millisecond, let's have him, let's see, what does he want to do? He wants to write a science fiction novel, so we're going to let him start our science fiction novel. Actually, finish this stinky book that you've got working on, you're working on. And what does he want to do? He wants to reach level 10 in his career, so he needs to build up his logic. So we can have him practice some chess. Hopefully that'll be good. Zenobia is here. She needs to go assemble puzzles. Um, but Fiona does need some food and some hygiene. So you know what I'm going to do before you go do that. Let's have you change her diaper. And then why don't you breastfeed her and then she should be good. Okay, that'll be good. And she's going to go eat. <clears throat> the theater owner thinks the fish you brought in is marvelous. The new tragic clownfish looks great on stage and will soon be cast in the theater's next tragedy play. Here's some money to compensate you for your efforts. Okay, perfect. And then these kiddos are going to eat. 
oh my gosh <laughs> borrowing ingredients jake coastal's cooking something special at home but doesn't have time to go to the grocery store bring a tomato to jake coastal and share ingredients to earn some money and improve your cooking skill in relationships do we have one no we don't okay well, we'll do that for sure. Let's have you come home. I think you're gonna work with Elijah today. You're gonna teach him to walk. Or talk, I mean. Jog everywhere. A manager at the gym has challenged you to jog one hour around town. The managers of the challenge are giving you a tracking device to make sure you're actively running. Start jogging, then turn the device when you're done to earn a cash prize. Okay. You're gonna go ahead and you are gonna teach him to talk, please. Thank you. And then Alfonso, don't worry about answering your phone. Can you just like do this until you improve it? Or like how close are you? You're very close. All right, so let's do that. And then we'll have him go jogging for a while. And she is not doing what I asked her to do, okay? Why don't you bathe Fiona? What? What are you doing? Stop. Stop. Turn this on slow. Fiona, can you go here, please? And can you go here? <sighs> Alright, and then go ahead and pick up Fiona. He's working on writing. What does she need to do? She wants to clean the bathtub. What bathtub? clean it she also wants to talk to her parents and be friends with them so that's important all right go ahead and breastfeed her first that way we can get that out of the way she's asleep still so we're good there and then carly here she wants to finish a book that'll be one wish oh she's painting always this kid is always painting i can't even stop her like in time because she just paints so fast. Like, she just goes right to the painting so fast. All right, wait. Can you change her diaper? Maybe it'll give her hygiene. I don't know if it will because she's not stinky. I don't think it will, but we'll see. All right, you want to make the bed? Go ahead and do that. That's easy. Come on, guys. Please, for the love of goodness. I need to get a mod where the kids can go up and down the stairs because this is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. All right, so they're learning to talk, which is what they need to do. Alfonso is working on his logic, which is also what he needs to be doing. Okay, did you pick her up? Oh, my goodness. Pick up Fiona, please. Wish there was a mod to bathe the babies in the bathtub. It's so much easier. Okay, he's still writing this biography for Kat McCurry. It's taking forever. All right. Give Fiona a bath. Stop putting her down. I swear to goodness, if she put her down, I'm going to be so mad. Oh, mm, Zenobia. Seriously, come on. You're giving me a heart attack. Pick up this baby. <laughs> Pick up this baby. Pick her. Stop it. Pick up Fiona. Stop it. Pick up Fiona. Goodness gracious. Okay. Now come down here and bathe Fiona. Alright, he just got his logic skill up. Great. She wants to mop a puddle? Where is there a puddle? Alright, if you just want to clean the whole house, just empty this then. Jeez. And then you can mop up this puddle. She just wants to clean the house, so I'm going to let her do it. All right, so he needs to do what? He needs to jog, right? So let's have him jog for an hour. We'll have him... Let's see. We'll have him jog here. Just don't break a sweat. And then we'll tell him to jog here and just don't break a sweat. And then we'll have him jog here. And just don't break a sweat. And we'll see where he's at for that. You know what I mean? Like, we'll see how long that takes him. Okay. Okay, so she's getting her all taken care of. And then let's have her go ahead and eat some of the filet mignon. And then assemble puzzles. Oh, wait. Before you do that, 
can you turn this on slow and then eat? And then do this. Perfect. Elijah ages up tonight, so we do need to get him taught to talk. And then we also need to finish, um, like, get a cake and stuff for him. So we will do that here soon. He's jogging. She's teaching him. She's taking care of Henry. Thank goodness for Zenobia being able to help them, these two out. Because they are always so busy. And they have... They have kiddos that are pretty young still. Like, we have Braylee, and if we really needed help, I would have Braylee help out her mom with the babies. And, obviously, Alfonso. But he is busy right now. So, yeah. I'm just thinking, you know, it's nice to have other people who can help out around the house a little bit with the kiddos. Because we're getting quite a few here, and it's getting a little bit overwhelming. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm trying my hardest to keep them all in yellow, but it ain't going to happen like that. Okay, go ahead and use that. When you're done. Or too stressed to write anymore. That's okay, too. Oh, she wants to tickle Fiona. She wants to clean the dishes. That would be very helpful. So please do that. That would be great. Um, Carly is still painting. I'm not going to lock that in for her, but she does want to finish a book. Where is our bookshelf? Seriously. Oh, it's downstairs in the office, isn't it? Oh. You know, we could just have her read something. Oh, shoot. I forgot. She, I didn't choose her to paint. She did it. She did it herself. So that's unfortunate. Braylee, what's wrong? Don't worry about that. Go ahead and clean up. I think Braylee is so pretty. Honestly, she is very pretty in my opinion. Um, This is her friend, Daniel. I kind of want Daniel. I kind of want her to chat with him for a little bit when she's done. Oh, perfect. Elijah just learned to talk. So he's all good in the hood. He can come on over here and use the potty. She's done with that toy. Is there not another toy? Yeah, there is right here. Play with this toy. Please. I also think we need to, like, wind this up or something. It's not doing anything. Or does it not tick? Like, I, I would have thought it would have, like, swung back and forth. Okay, did he finish this? Return the device. Go return your device. You're, get out of my way. Okay. Henry is good, I think. Yeah, he's good. Leave him be. Why don't you come use this? And then you can clean it. <laughs> Alright. Go ahead and clean it. Let's see. Alfonso. Zenobia is doing the puzzles. So once she finishes this um, wish, which is to finish a book, then we can remember that she finished something. Zenobia ha is doing one opportunity, so that would be one for each of them, which would be fantastic. Um, I am having Braylee talk to Daniel because that's who we originally thought she was going to get with. But I don't know because I feel like he's a little bit older now. And I just feel like it's kind of weird. So I do notice that Braylee only has a relationship with her mom, really, other than Daniel. I would love her to be friends with her father. So I do want to spend a little bit of time working on that today. And he's supposed to be returning a device, but he's just choosing not to. So once he's done, I'm going to have him come back home. And we'll go from there. What is Braylee doing? Braylee, stop it. Don't do that. Clean the house. All right, so it says you took the challenge and surpassed everyone's expectations. Your body thanks you for the fresh air and great cardio workout. Your pockets thank you for the cash prize. Fantastic. All right, let's have you go eat some filet mignon. Oh, wait. Yes, please. Turn this on slow and then go eat some filet mignon. And then Alfonso's coming home. And I want Braylee to actually um, come down and talk to her dad when he gets here. Because she doesn't want to become friends with him. And actually, you know what I'm going to have Alfonso do? I'm going to have him start recycling some of these newspapers. Because we have three. And that's pretty bad. <laughs> that's pretty bad. We also need to get a cake for... Um, Elijah because it's about to be his birthday and so I was thinking maybe she could do it since she's at the store but she is taking forever so hopefully she's done soon I don't know what time she's gonna be done Zane is still working on this book okay buddy you really gotta go potty and then let's get you to eat some cake 
<clears throat> Braylee, leave your dad alone. Uh, I should have had her go potty, but I'm just going to have her go here. And I'm going to have Alfonso go here when he's done. I think he's already cleaned up. Okay, he didn't clean up that one, but it's all right. Let's just let them talk. Don't worry about it. Come on. All right. I think what we should do is just buy one out of the inventory because I think he's about to age up here in a few minutes. And I'll get a little stressed. I don't think I don't think we're going to have enough time to wait to um do this. So, yeah. Okay, so we've got his birthday cake and we are good to go. I think we could just age him up now. Um, I'm not going to throw parties for toddlers. I think I'll throw parties for like children and above. Um, unless there's like grandparents, obviously, but there won't be any more grandparents unless somebody we move, we marry in has a um, mom or a dad. So there probably won't be any more grandparents at this point. So we're going to help um, Elijah go ahead and blow out his birthday candles because it is his birthday. And you know what, Zane? Why don't you wait, buddy? Why don't you wait? Why don't you go here? Oh, and I put this on the floor if you guys don't know because I want to put counters over here and make like a coffee bar kind of thing. So that's kind of what we were waiting on there. So yeah. Okay, stop it. Go. No, don't jog here. Um, go here. Zenobia, let's get you home. I think you're going to miss the baby's birthday, but you know what? I'm pretty sure they've probably missed some of your kids' birthdays, too. <laughs> it says, you managed to put all of the pieces together just in time for the store to set up their puzzles demo station to accompany their new fondue sets. The store manager is so pleased that he decided to give you a boatload of money for your time. All right. Well, that sounds great. Let's go ahead and mute this music because it is so freaking loud. Um... Probably could just change volume. No, it's on low. So let's just um, skip forward and see if that's better. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Back to the party we go. <laughs> see, now getting photos is going to be so much easier. So now I can get what photo I want and it won't be such a hassle. And it's so cute. I'm so excited to see him age up. Oh. So cute. Okay, we'll get out of tab mode. Because <laughs> it'll get wonky. I'll forget that I have it and I'll be like swinging around. <laughs> Alright, she still needs to read her book too. She didn't finish it yet. But she did finish hers, so that's great. <clears throat> Could you at least pretend to be excited for Elijah? Like, at least pretend. Same with you. <laughs> Could you pretend? Alright, there he goes. Sparkling turn. Bam! He is now a child, and due to our excellent parenting skills, we can choose a trait for him, but we really can't. I just randomized. So he's flirty, unlucky, oh boy, and childish. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness, kid. Well, I can tell that he might need a slight change of attire. But, um, uh, I think he'll be okay at the moment. We can't really see his outfits anyways. 
So it's like, yeah, is it really worth it? Nah, probably not. It's, it's not really worth giving him a makeover, really. But it's the same as Zane. You can kind of see what he's wearing, but you don't know what color it is. You don't know if it matches in color. You have no idea what he looks like. So it's just like, okay, give him whatever he wants at this rate. That's just how I feel, kind of. All right, I'm going to have you go ahead and put this away because I think that we should do so. And also, we need to grow a tomato but we don't even have a garden going so like what is that um this kiddo is still upstairs in her bed she's star vc mode so we will have to take care of that let's have you come up here and let's have you hold her because i think she really needs it and we'll go from there also the next thing i'm going to change out is their table i know that it's wonky and it's crazy and it looks it, ridiculous but I am going to work on that next. It's going to be my next purchase for them, I do believe. She wants to bathe, so I'm going to let her go ahead and um, I think if she takes a shower, it'll count. So I'll let her take a shower. Um, I am going to let her go ahead and use this bathroom. And then does she have the book she was reading? Yeah. A magnetic attraction. What the heck? So here is Elijah, the cutie pants that he is himself. Do you really need another thing of... No. You want to learn logic, and you want to read a book about logic, and you want to go to the bookstore. Yeah, we can totally do that. I'm pretty sure there's a logic book in here, so go ahead and read it. Oh my gosh, he was going to scare her. Horrible. Fiona needs some food. So where's Alfonso at? What's Alfonso doing? Alfonso, can you put Fiona in the high chair, please? Mom's got her. Don't worry about her. Zenobia's got her. Pregnant or not, she's there to rescue her. Hannah, get out of here. Why don't you go to bed? Actually, why don't you go down and take care of Henry? Oh, gosh. Why don't you hold Henry? Go hold him. All right. So what did I say that Georgia needed? She needs hunger, social, bladder. Okay, so let's go ahead and we can breastfeed her. We can snuggle her. We can toss her in the air. And then you can go ahead and potty train her. Elijah's got his his logic skills a three. Holy moly, kid. I forgot because they get it from the little uh, peg box, I do believe. That's really cool. He wants a biologic book. Okay, fine. We'll buy like volume two since we only have volume one. Seems fitting. Did you feed her? Or did you just put her in there and just be like, okay, it's just good. No, you gotta give her baby food, dude. Um, serve food. Give her some mac and cheese. And then why don't you be nice and like clean up all the dishes? Because there is a lot of them. And then you can use the bathroom. Actually, by that time, it'll probably be time to let her out or put her to bed, whatever. Yeah, hold Henry. Where's Henry at? He's loving it on fast. I'm really shocked. Because normally they absolutely hate it. Okay. Why don't you still talk to your dad? Because you still wanted to chit chat with him. So, friendly. Apologize. What do you have to apologize for? What'd she do? Also, we have to get Elijah a little um, tab ca uh, tablet. Because he doesn't have one. And we do need one. No, Zane, what the heck? Zane, stop. Why are you doing that? Why did you do that? Now you gotta feed her on the floor. I know you're trying to be helpful, but you're not being helpful at the same time. You're being a pain in my butt. Stop it. Put her, feed her on the floor, please. You have your own Chilla McGillans to take care of. Don't worry about ours. Go to sleep. Okay, she's all good. She can come in here and play. Oh my gosh, this family is just running wild. Where is Henry? Oh, there he is. <laughs> oh, he can actually go in the crib now. That's perfect. Yes, good job. All right, I want you to go to bed. Your kids are taken care of, so just go to bed. Get out of my hair. Because you guys are tired. <clears throat> yeah, we do want her to apologize to you. And they do have a dishwasher now, so that's perfect. Alright, Braley, are you coming or what? 
Zenobes, what are you up to, girl? Um Yeah, let's get you to let's get you to lay Fiona down, because Fiona is very tired. So go ahead and put Fiona in the crib, and then I'm gonna let you go ahead and use the bathroom, and then I'm gonna let you sleep. You are pregnant, and we need to keep your energy high, I'm sure. <clears throat> Apologize to him. And why don't you ask about his day? Ask about his gender preference? Kind of odd, don't you think? Um, clean the sink, mop the puddle. This is all she's all about. This is all she's all about. Um, compliment his cleverness. That would be very nice for you to do. Get to know him. Gossip with him. Ask about his age. Um, enthuse the exercise. Uh, yeah, I think that's good. Make a silly face with him and tell him a funny story. And then you should be good. After she does all that, now that they're friends, at least, it's a good time for her to probably head to bed because it's almost 11 at night and they do have school tomorrow, I'm sure. Okay, so she just finished her book, which is perfect. Let's go ahead and have her put it away. And so it's in the bookshelf. And then we're going to have her go to bed, too. I do need to make up a bed for Elijah. Um, I will do so at some point. Um, I'll do it off, off like, screen. Um, and maybe record it. I don't know. But I do need to make him a little bit of a bed and go from there and then yeah she's in bed she is playing and he's in bed so i think we are all good Braley, where's your dad going stop it he could have seriously waited for this and he was like nah i don't want to <laughs> okay he wants to hug her amorously oh he really loves Zenobia. i'm really thankful that he loves her so much because as you guys know she is our one sim that we started with and everyone else has just kind of come into it from the midst i mean zane was there but he was not there at the same time if you get what i'm saying you'll know if you've seen this from the beginning um so yeah and these guys are just still talking she's just got this last thing that she's saying to him she's just telling him a funny story and then once he's done listening to her he is also gonna head off to bed because it is that time. So the only one that will probably be awake is, well, right now, Elijah and Georgia. But you know what? I'll have Elijah come on down here and just nap on the couch. Um, and I'll make him up a bed, obviously, today. Um, his favorite color is aqua. So we will definitely be doing that. You know, I've never really looked through everyone's stuff. So she likes hamburgers and gray. He likes fried peanut butter and banana sandwich in purple. Zenobia likes fruit parfait and pink. Zane likes mac and cheese and black. Braley likes cookies and lilac. Um, she likes vegetarian grilled salmon and blue. Elijah likes fish and chips and aqua. Fiona likes tri chip steak and blue. She actually ages up tomorrow. Uh, Georgia likes tri chip steak and pink. And Henry likes vegetarian lobster thermidor and lime. So we're going to be having another birthday tomorrow, which is going to be Miss Fiona. Did we teach Fiona everything by any chance? Um, we haven't taught her anything. <laughs> oh no, only taught her to potty. Okay, so we're really going to have to work on teaching her to walk and to talk. We'll do that with Zenobia. I might even have her get up in a little bit and do it with her. Once she's like pretty well rested and try to start working on at least the walking or the talking because that's really bad and I don't want her to age up badly just because we didn't decide to do anything with her. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there because Georgia is the only one awake. She's just playing with the xylophone. And um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed it, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. In the description below is all of my social media links, so definitely check those out. Please don't forget to follow me over on Discord, on my Discord server, and um, on my Twitch channel where I live stream. And I will talk to you guys in my very next one. Thanks so much for watching.